Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic 1.4 preview playthrough as the Galactic Republic. In the last episode, we faced our first attack from the Huts and ended up with another attack coming through. And it looks like it is the Huts as well, because that was a bit of a cliffhanger. But we've got our fleet coming back in. We're slowly building some stuff up. Uh, that's, I guess, going to be a Praetor though soon. Or it is a now. So next time we should actually be able to leave it there. So the goal is still to build some of these up a little bit more, which I haven't done uh, after moving some ships around. So we're building up ships, we're defending some planets, and we are going to get into the battle for Azir here once again. They're coming from Charos. I I don't know if we're going to do an early campaign against the Huts. It might be worthwhile just to, to take them out and make sure that we're not going to be facing down problems from them. But I do kind of want them to fight the CIS, because I wouldn't mind if they took some territory that way. Uh, but we should have a fairly easy win on our hands here. Uh, it's only like an 80 pop cap fleet, and we have a fleet that are veterans of many conflicts at this point. They've had like two or three good victories that were very reliant on their fighters and bombers doing a lot of work. But it's the kind of thing where like, if things start going against this fleet, then things will go very bad very fast. Because we are relying on the fighters a lot, but if they get to the acclimators, well, the acclimators will do a lot of damage. They are also very fragile. So if they come up again, like if the stuff from the last battle had been able to reach it, reach our forces in a unified way, that would have been a loss. Ooh, I don't like how much is coming on the Hellion there. So I think we need to switch some forces to taking out these guys that are firing in the middle. The Barabulas. With those gone, Pallion should be safe. And we can go back to this Karaga that the bombers are on. Do some power to weapons on that. And as sad as it is to destroy the hut ships, because they're some of my favorite designs. I think Sky's done a great job doing the the models and textures for them. But they they're attacking me. I've got to I've got to stand up for myself sometimes too. Like don't don't be a pushover. If the huts ever come for you, just. Remember, stick up for yourself. You don't you don't owe the huts anything. Unless you owe the huts something, in which case give them give them what you owe them. That's that's entirely fair from their perspective, to be honest. Building but we'll get that level one station going. Uh and Charos, why are you you doing this to me, Charos? But okay, these these belong on the ground. I think I pulled them up there when I was getting rid of uh, um that would have been Kit Fisto, I think. Yeah the first episode and we've got alpha 17 so in our next run of ground battles i'm going to make sure that you're in position for that and i think we might need a uh, some input from other ground forces you know what mace you're gonna you're gonna be this in that we're about to invade helius hmm we're from forost well, let's try to get as... Nope, never mind. We're not going to try to get as much there as possible. They're, they already got there. Uh, what's coming through that? That's Alpha, isn't it? There's no DH Omni. That's what's working out for us. But we have a Golan 3, or Golan 2, rather. And we have a Golan 1, and we have a shipyard. Nope. Uh, um, no hypervelocity gun. Bad things happen when the CIS gets to Kikilius. It, do it does not end well for Kikilius, if you know anything about the, the background in the Clone Wars. Didn't, didn't work out. But I have a slight amount of hope. We don't have a command bonus this time. We barely have any units. We're not going to be able to wipe them on their way to the structures like we did in the prior battle. 
like in the big battle at the end of last episode, which if uh, if you watch that episode in this episode, then you might want to subscribe for more episodes. But awaiting orders. Let's get those. In. I mean, we'll, we'll try to take out some of the captors or auxilias rather this time. There's captors back here though. So if we can maybe get this uh, this front line. That's kind of the the best we can expect, I think, is taking out these three. Right, we might have to switch over to this one. Well, can you get around there? No, this, this is, uh, this is it. Not super far off from what I said we'd probably be able to do. I just don't think we're, I don't know that we're going to be able to get a second one, or a third one, rather. Oh, no, we got, we got full shields left. We're going to get these three, and then that's, that's going to be it, though. Well, luckily we have, uh, or luckily they don't have a an interdictor. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble with Alpha, but we'll be able to get through. Tactical battle imminent. Okay, we can probably hold on the ground pretty well here. That's a, that looks like a good amount of units. But we just need to make sure that nothing gets to us. Lambda we'll turn around. And then we leave. Prepare for jump to hyperspace. Okay. It's going to go to Coruscant. That's fine. Nope. Uh, maybe if I combine Hauser and Zinge, we can get through that. Now. Well, let's see if we can actually hold this. Like, I, I think we can. Like, with the VATs, all things are possible in, in VAT. Let's get through there. Try to hold on this landing zone. Lancet standing by. And I don't know if I can hold that one, but depending on which way they come, you can try to have some spy aerial artillery reporting. I wonder if I can actually do something a little sneaky. Right. Get over there. At the ready. And we want a couple of you in here. Not all of you though. Your orders. Alright, let's get up here. As you wish. Squadron moving out. So that's gonna be an AA turret and an AV turret. Get over there more. Ready to receive orders. And get down. Because if we can stop them from having another landing zone. Command right, you guys get back there, because this is gonna be important. Attacking. Construction. Construction. Moving out. Heading out. Firing. Destination ahead. Get get over here. I'm actually gonna sell this and I'm gonna get repairs. Roger that. Oh no. Let's go. Run. Oh, that's why. That's AA. Okay, most things are possible in VAT Reporting when in. you have 
less AA to worry that. about. Moving into position. Uh, if we had artillery, that would be so much better. But we're gonna have to make do. Alright, let's fall back. Hopefully they go for the other side. For this side, not the other side. But we can... Here. Yeah, I should have done it the other way around. Um... Do I have something with repairs? Oh, I do have something with repairs. Okay. I didn't think I had, but they were from the tax agency as well. Well, they were from that section. Alright, if they go that direction... They're gonna get another lander coming down in a second. And we're just gonna have to switch off. Over there. Ooh. Something like that. Can you guys go and kill those? No, that's that's fine. They're just gonna bomb something that doesn't exist anymore. Right away. Well, our early warning clones are doing their job. I wonder if they can actually win though. With enough aerial support. Maybe we can take the hill. Heading out. There's a lot of staffs here. But they're not the sturdiest. Okay, let's get the let's get to that thing. Destination ahead. You need to get some repairs, so we'll get you out of there. There's the gat down. Let's move out. Oh, there's a there's a Magnoptara. Lancet standing by. Fire. Aerial artillery reporting. Are you getting healed while you're in position to shoot? That's choice. Attack that target at the ready. Keep going. All right. Yeah, don't don't go too far up. We want you guys to be in position to ready to receive orders to help the vats. I like what's coming around on this side. All right, there's a uh, there's one of the Hamels. We gotta mark that. Okay, let's get into this now and see if we can stop the gats. What's up here? Okay, that's. Nice, nice. Now, let's try to back off a little bit. I want to try to... Ooh. Bombardments are not... Not good. Not choice, actually. Okay, at least we're healing on that. And... Okay, we've got the... Cars in. They're a bit too spread across the map. Ooh. Okay. I'll take it. Let's uh, let's see if we can take out their field bases up here then. At least we got some of these guys out. All right. We have got it. take out that turret so they don't come back for it. Alright. Not bad. And they've actually moved away. So we don't need to combine anything. Here, I'm just going to send you back to Corda then. Um, let's get those out of there. But it does mean this needs more defenses. So I'm going to... I am going to save, actually. That's the first thing I'm going to do.
fun. When this happens. Okay. I want you over there. I want you two over here. There's people coming to Argonar too. Probably the huts again. That's going to be your job. I'm going to move Luminara away. There's not much that you're doing for us. Enemy fleet and Nabu. Okay, look at that. It's the huts. Tactical battle imminent. Nabu and Corda 6. We might need to just drop some of these planets. Like I said, I could send Pelion down to do some anti hut planet stuff. I don't know that it's Use super worth. There's nothing we can As you do. Command. Of course you're what do they got? Two Karagas, and that's Ready it? To fast the enemy Engaging drive thrusters. Bearing set. Breaking calm silence. Fall out. Closing on the target. I copy okay, let's see if we can drop there. some point defense in the path of those. Otherwise, we're actually going to just hand them even more damage and... What should be an easier battle. Ready for attack orders. Moving to attack. Ready for attack coordinations. Ready. For the repair, get maximum firepower. Cannons charged. We should clear right. the area. If we've got a lot of units, I'm probably going to try to use the starting forces to build the defensive fleets. Uh, and then for our active fleets, we'll be just taking what we build from Patron units. But what's our freighter? Oh, there's still a minstrel. Like, this is all coming from Charos, and they're... Like, we, as long as we have these three planets, we need a fleet at every planet. So I kind of think I should just abandon it. So yeah, I'm going to move you guys back one planet. Long now, sir. I'm going to move you back a planet as well. And if they want Argonar, they can take Argonar. Uh, Corda, that's 104. This is not going to be enough. No, we have to we have to call this one off. And we'll probably have to bring... Alien over there too? Yeah, we need to we need to move away from here. Preparing for jump to light speed. Like I have to have Hauser's fleet if I want them to have something over here. Otherwise we just sack off Corda or Azure. Probably not Corda. Corda's close enough that we can just have one fleet out here. But the Spurs are dangerous. I don't know if that's true in basketball as well. I definitely want to protect Kishi because I don't want them to have like free reign over here. But if it means they're abandoned out Tactical there, that's fine. Imminent. Oh, right, Nabu. That is Trench. That's an Acclimator. That is Death. That is no. Research complete. All right, we've unlocked the Venator. So the Maelstrom, we're at 9%. Procurator dropped in chance, so did the Praetor. Uh, oh, well. Um, let's get one of them. I'm going to put you back here. This is the governor. Let's crush those scum. Damn. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's your planet now. System lost. I can't let them stay over there though. Tactical battle imminent. Even if I don't want these guys all over here. All right. We need to we need to be a bit more proactive somewhere. Choose your reinforcements. Let's crush those. Definitely yeah, want something that's a bit tankier in this fleet. Because we are relying a lot on those fighters. 
You know, it has been working out well for us for now. But we've been coming up against fleets without much in reserve. That's where this falls apart. Or at least falls apart the most. Because the protracting protracted engagements there's a higher chance of us fighting stuff all at once. We lose the advantage we've had, which is that we've been able to do a lot of damage on their way in. Standing by. Take cover! I copy, sir. Ready to fire. Let's go. We need you to clear the area in order to proceed. Got you on the south. How are you two doing? Okay. Pelion, I'm gonna move you out. Because that could still be a death for you. Everyone else. Out of weapons. Uh, let's get these bombers onto that Providence. Because they do seem to be hunting down Pelion. And really everyone else. Do you want to power weapons as well? Alright. That's good. Okay, I don't think they're... I don't think they're killing him. Alright, that's... It's all falling apart. Pelion is not. That's the crucial part. No falling apart for Pelion. I know it's still a hard P sound for both of them, but that's the only similarity they're going to have. The only connection they're allowed. All right, now we just need to kill them with empty, I think. Like, we've been doing really well on force trading. We haven't really lost many ships. But planets were not really in much of a better position than when we started. Economically, we are. So that's the that's the flip side of that. But if they're free to attack us whenever they want, if we don't start picking some planets to consolidate, then we're gonna have to keep move or keep dealing with the huts and the CIS on multiple fronts. Much as I'd like them to attack each other. Right, well, let's move you guys over. Let's move. Thank you back around. Heading out. Engaging drive thrusters. And okay, here we have not enough crew, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get unit. two venators. And then I want her to go to Alderaan. I really would rather not. And get Building more crew. Construction. Tactical battle imminent. They're just attacking Navu. Which one is it? The long one? I don't know. I don't want that to be taken, but I don't know that we've got the. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to handle that. And they've taken Scipio, so they're getting some consolidation from the missions. Alright. Corellia. I should build that. Let's see. Constructing unit. There are none left. Unit canceled. Unit in production. That's the only one left. Constructing unit. That's the only one left. Vehicle in production. Two. Okay. So we're gonna get a bunch of them. Uh, and our existing Carrick fleet is over here. So I'm gonna send that over to Zinj. Setting a course. She's gonna get two of the. Uh, two of the Venators. Fourth Bridge, Harmony Guardian, Shacking Up, and Piz Mizzle. We're gonna put in just Fleet as well. And while we're over the planet, I'm gonna try to I really would build that up a little bit too. We can... Tactical battle imminent. Oh, hello. have an AA skiff, they have super hall twos. Okay, we're gonna just let them have it and then we'll System see lost. what they do with our our donation. But we do want to take this planet. So Luminara, be the luminary we need.
And I, if you can't tell from the shirt, this episode is being recorded right after the the last one. So that's why I have not fulfilled whatever the request was for the Jedi yet. Okay. Um. Mistake not to put more more infantry down than that. We'll get the abandoned factory. Oh, we'll get the riot pursuits. Okay. Here. Was something just cracked in the headphones? Crackled? Not cracked. I hope not, at least. I think it was a crackle. Alright, get out of there, Ozzel. I don't actually want you to die. And I suppose we're going to have to try to take this landing zone. They are all coming in. Okay, you're going to help. Get some clones in. Another lat. One of you. These guys all together should be able to handle the gats. Pretty easily, apparently. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's let's keep moving towards the same area. Because you can you can just hunt those down, Ozzel, right? Blow that up. Nice job. TMTT. Okay, let's try to get to the next one. And they don't have any structures here, so this is... It's not one where we need to get to the base. We do need to make sure they don't get a field base. Or a bunch of field bases established. But the lats will be able to help with that a bit. And they're going to be more inclined to just come straight for us. Alright, let's, uh, let's loop back around. I think we're going to go down here. Okay. Uh, and we'll go into the middle then. That's how it's going to be looking. We have a turret. Let's not go on the turret. I guess if we're going to be running past here a lot, let's uh, let's get that killed. Mm. Alright, uh, Juggernauts, you're faster. Get on in there. I just need to make sure that we don't fly our lats into a... into an AA turret. Or into an AA. Okay, I wonder if, uh, if we can convince you to stay still. Let's try to get to... Here, you guys stay here. Was that a persuader? Yeah, that was just a persuader. That's fine. Up oh, there comes another set of units. Luckily, we have the juggernauts in position to support. And the only unit we've lost is one of the capturables. So, Luminara, get over there. All of you should be able to handle the couple of squads that we're dealing with. Oh, get that, get that, get that. And keep moving over here. We just need to make sure that, yeah, the handles don't take out our units, our lats. But I think we've got... We've got Cortis. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Not great stuff, because we lost the planet to begin with. But good stuff, at least. Alright, and this time we'll actually build it up a bit more. So I think having the hypervelocity guns in a few places are worthwhile. Or is worthwhile. Uh, and let's get up to Coruscant with you. 
Okay, you're going into Zinja's fleet. For us, if we can take it, is a prime... Like, for us and Fondor, I think, have to be our biggest targets right now. So let's get that. And... I'm not going to upgrade the station on here just yet, but let's see. Vehicle in production. Constructing unit. Unit cancelled. What do we have of everything? Constructing unit. Unit cancelled. Constructing unit. There's a bunch of peltas. Vehicle in production. Couple of you. I'm going to get Vehicle all three of those and another charger. So we. Do, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna. I'm going back on that. I'm getting those. We're gonna go back to Kuat after that. We're we're still getting the Praetors more than anything. I guess it is 10% for that, but none of those numbers are anywhere near final. So let's see. What are we gonna get next week? Uh, anything? Awaiting your order, sir. 99 Dreadnoughts on the Wall has entered service. What's the pop looking like on that? I think I'm going to send you over to him. And with our next round, let's get two more Venators. Because you're going straight over to Zinj. Alright, how does that look? That is 199. No hypervelocity gun. Okay. I think next episode, Forost is going to be in our sights. We'll probably take some of these guys over for it. I'm going to check what Bondor looks like right now as well. And yeah. We'll probably be able, if we're lucky, to take Fondor and Forost. Two big shipyards for us. But that is for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying the series so far. Thank you again, and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.